So Kaggle recently upgraded their free machines like that on Kaggle notebook with higher RAM. So you get 29 GB RAM on a free T4 machine. So naturally a lot of you have been asking me questions. Give me like a Google collab alternative and a couple of years back I made a video about Google collab alternatives and one of that was Kaggle. And now that Kaggle has upgraded its machine, especially with 29 GB, a lot of our models, a lot of things that we do could be faster. So I immediately went to test it. And in this video, I'm going to first show you what is that improvement. Then we are going to show the test and certain nuances that we can discuss at the end of the video. It's going to be quite a short video to be really honest. To first start with what is this update and if you are not familiar with Kaggle, so Kaggle is like um, hacker rank, hacker news, top coder for machine learning. There are a lot of machine learning competitions happen, a lot of data sets are available. In fact, I keep on telling a lot of people that uh, Hugging Face capitalized on a market that Kaggle left and Kaggle is also owned by Google where we use Google Collab which is also owned by Google. Only catch here is that with Kaggle GPUs we get a limit which we will shortly see. The first thing is what is the upgrade that we have got? We have got GPU notebooks with four CPUs. So one, they have increased the CPU core. The second one, they have increased the RAM. Previously it was 12 GB of RAM, very similar like Google Collab. Now it is 29 GB of RAM, that is like huge. And uh, if you see here, you can go see here, like I can show you like li literally live. So you can see that right now it has used 5 GB of 29 GB and it is a T4 machine. You can see the GPU available with 14 GB memory. Now what is this? It means for P100 G GPUs and for T4 GPUs, notebooks, especially Kaggle notebooks, the RAM has been increased from 13 GB to 29 GB and the CPU core has been increased from 2 cores to 4 cores. So recently we made a video where we said, okay, I want to run a model on local machine or Google Collab only on CPU, no GPU, uh, leveraging no GPU. Even if you have got GPU, it will use only CPU. And uh, the model was like, we did local PDF processing with the Mr. AI, the two bit quantized is what we did. And when we asked a question on free Google Collab with 12 GB of RAM, it took about 383 seconds, which translates roughly about like 6.3 minutes. And uh, it, I even mentioned on the video that it is too much. Like it's, it's actually a lot of time. I did the same thing in this particular case, it's GP, GPU, uh, but the GPU is not utilized. As you can see, the GPU is not utilized and we got the exact same thing, nothing else we got 142 seconds, which is 2.3 minutes. So from 6.3 minutes, we came down to 2.3 minutes using another free solution from Google, which is Kaggle notebook. And it is pretty straightforward for you to use it. I've got a very vague tutorial about how to use Kaggle notebook, but I'll quickly show you. So for example, let's say you have downloaded the notebook from Google collab. Like this is the notebook that we created. So if you go to Google Collab, click file and click download, click download.ipynb. Once you click download.ipynb, you are going to get it as a Jupyter notebook format on your local machine. Then all you have to do is go to Kaggle and once you go to Kaggle, you can see this create button and click create new notebook. Once you click create a new notebook, it is going to take you to a new notebook screen where you have to first select the language accelerator. Do you want any GPU or not? So this memory improvement is only for GPU, I guess. So you would naturally have to select the T4 machine, which once you select, it will um, have like a 30 hours counter. So you can see it has a 30 hours counter and my counter resets on 29th Saturday, uh, October 29th. And you select the language here. And once you do all these things, go to file and click import notebook. Then you get this window there. And all you have to do is click here, drag and drop it. That's it. And click import. The same notebook that you used on Google Collab is right now available inside Kaggle notebook. But it is as simple as that using a Google Collab notebook inside Kaggle. Unless until you have some file uploads, then you have to go to, you know, data, um, add data and uh, upload a file and all these kind of things that you have to do it. But generally it's a very pretty straightforward and easy process for you to use Kaggle notebook. This is one. 
the second thing like i said is it comes with a quota so you, you it's not like you can use as many hours like google collab so google doesn't explicitly say any restrictions but i have been uh, you know like been given time out multiple times before because google collab decided that i have been using google collab for a long time and a lot of time so based on the frequency of your use based on the time of use google collab might often give you a time out where you would not be able to use google collab so this is another case here and the other thing that i wanted to mention is right now we were talking only about using a model in inference but you know that we've been doing a lot of fine tuning which i also want to test it on kaggle but because we have been using accelerate which does a lot of memory management between cpu ram and gpu vram the between the system memory and the graphics memory with 29 gb of ram i think it should be fairly faster and also easier to fit in a lot of models previously for which we had to ask a sharded model like for example amazon released a model called amazon light um, mr light couple of days back i went ahead and asked them that do you plan to release a sharded model because i could not fit that exact like a 9 gb plus 4 gb model directly within my google collab it crashes the system memory crashes and i don't think those kind of cases would happen on kaggle notebook with 29 gb ram so i think all in all this is like a great victory for anybody who practices deep learning machine learning ai on free resources like kaggle notebook or google collab and if you prefer to use kaggle notebook there are a lot of other advantages like kaggle notebooks usually rank higher on google search engine so if you want to produce an if you want to produce something that is of your own like a portfolio and you want people to notice most likely a kaggle notebook will have higher visibility on google search than a google collab notebook these are some advantages i have always told people to check out kaggle so this video is like a, a google collab alternative with much much higher ram and you should definitely check it out we have got like a 29 gb ram and the final thing that i forgot to mention is that you also get multiple gpus so there are certain libraries that will help you do parallel processing across multiple gpus and if you were to leverage that i think like this is a great solution that you can use to do model inference and also model fine tuning for any of the large language models that you typically deal with and we have just literally seen a 3x closer to 3 not necessarily 3x almost closer to 3x improvement in uh, in the inference time when it was like completely uh, cpu so, so Yeah I hope like this tutorial was helpful to you in bringing the latest news from Kaggle once again this is Google research we just have to use it and say thank you to Google um if if you are if you are to use it no strings attached uh, you never know what they are going to do with your data and i think all the usual google related speculations always exist but while it is free let's use it see you in another video happy prompting